Hi guys and welcome to this week's My Halifax, I'm Adam Cooper. We're across from the public gardens in downtown Halifax, where it's the Halifax Garden Festival, which is happening right over there. So let's go check it out. So we just kind of took a quick scout through the actual festival itself. Um, a, it's super busy here and there's a lot of cool stuff. Like I come past this, um, this garden all the time and it doesn't feel that big, uh, probably because it's across the road from the um, public gardens, but it's massive. Like there's a ton of people in there and there's some really cool stuff in there, uh, like some cactuses, which are relatively easy to look after and you can't kill them. Hopefully we won't kill them and we're probably gonna get a cactus and we're gonna call him Alan. So in the interest of full disclosure, what I know about plants, you could write on the back of a stamp, know nothing. Which is partly why I'm going to buy a cactus, because that's really hard to kill, so I'm told. And I'm going to call him Alan, so then I feel like we're enamoured, so I don't end up accidentally killing him and we're vested in each other. But this is actually a really good event, because a lot of the vendors actually know a lot about plants, obviously, because they grow them and they breed them. So if you are like me, completely novice, have not got a green finger or green anything in your body, um, they will totally help you and let you know how you can look after these plants. And there's a lot of cool art installations here too, which is really nice and kind of surprising and um, because I just thought this was all going to be um, plants and about growing stuff um, but some of the sculptures of the plants there are in wicked detail and uh, I'm really loving this event So we've just grabbed them to see uh, across the courtyard there's actually a area set up where they can do workshops about potting plants and growing plants and again this is another way of helping people who again want to get into gardening but don't really know where to start because there's a lot of science to it it's not just a case to stick in the ground and watch it grow and um, so that's really cool we might catch some of that and also we actually have purchased a cactus and a mystery thing which um, I'm not sure how to pronounce but it's really cool and I can't wait to show you guys which we're going to show you later and um, we just got more exploring to do So we've actually come out in the public gardens right now and I thought it'd be a good time to introduce you to Alan. He's really small and tiny, but cactus is really easy to maintain. So as long as you let the water run completely dry before you water again, it shouldn't die. And apparently these will eventually get quite big and have little babies around it. So we might have to repot pot it. That might, we might need some help from. We got this from the Urban Gardeners. They're out on Queen in Dartmouth and they like, if you need help, come back and uh, see us. They were super cool and they also just told us this, which is what Gina wanted to get, called a Letitious. If you actually know what this is called properly, please comment, because I'm pretty I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. But it looks like a little brain cell. And as it grows, they just split, literally like a cell. And we're in a kind of Star Trek high right now, so we just thought it was like something straight out of Star Trek, so we bought it. It looks, it looks like a brain. But um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and make a little display, but I think it's definitely gonna be a case of expectation versus reality. So it seems like the last couple of weeks there has been multiple events happening throughout the city and it's kind of been difficult to get to all of them. Um, so if there's any that we've missed and you think you should really film this event, please let us know and we'll try and get there next time. Um, that's a good problem for us to have because when we first started on Halifax, there wasn't always a lot that we could film and we had to go and kind of like make stuff up and in the sense of like create a video about a park or something. And now it seems like there's events happening so much more and so much more frequently and that's a really good thing for Halifax and it's a really good thing for us to be able to live there because we get to go and experience all these fun things like I mean that's an amazing event about gardening down there and even a novice like me has had a great time there and it's stuff like that that makes your city just feel so special because not many cities have stuff like this to the volume that we do and I'm just really excited to be in Halifax and, and just enjoying all these events. So that's the end of this week's My Halifax. Once again, we came to the Halifax Garden Festival, which again, as a non-gardening person, that was a ton of fun. There was some really good artwork there. There was classes so you could help learn how to be better. I bought a cactus because I didn't have to kill it. Well, I won't kill it. The plan is not to kill it. That's green fingers, people. That's the dream. Um, if there's anywhere you think we should make a video, like I said earlier, any event you, that we've missed and you think we should definitely be there next time, please let us know in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you next week. 
Are you just zooming in my face? Are you <laughs> literally zooming in my face? How did you know? Because the camera lens gets so big, I can see this big, big hole. And I'm like, what is she doing? I was like, she's filming my mouth. There, there you go, you're filming my mouth. Okay. <laughs>